In this video, we will see a very simple question, which is being asked in many companies like Tata, Alexi, Mindtree, and Cap Gemini written exams. So let's read the question. It says you are given a string and a character. You need to check if that character is present in a string or not. If it's present, print yes. Else present, print no. So this is the input format where they have given us a string hello and they have given us a character L. We can see <coughs> L is present in this string. So we should be printing yes. And second example says uh, string is same, but character is now A. And we can see A is not present in this hello. So in this case, we should print no. I will tell you two ways to do it. So we will be practicing many programs like that so that we know how to iterate over a string because that is going to be very useful for your written exams as well as if you are facing any interview, it, there are chances that you will be asked a question on a string. So you must be aware on how to iterate over a string. So we'll do, we will see two ways to do it. So to save time, I have already created a program, find a character and a string is as hello and character to check is E. We will start writing our first approach for int i equal to zero to i less than str dot length it i plus plus so we, we will move character by character and check if that character is present in our string or not so we, what we will say str dot care at i equal to equal to care to check if this is true, that means we have found the, we have found our string, our character in this string. So we can simply, uh, we will declare a Boolean here. If you are not aware what is Boolean, I'll have a video to explain it. But for timing, you just remember that Boolean can have only two values. So what we are naming it as care, care found and making it as false because initially we are assuming that that character is not present. So once we see if it is present, what we will do, we will change the value of care found to true. And now we will have to break this. So this statement will break this for loop. Otherwise, what it will do, it will keep on going till the end of this string. Here we can see E is at the second position. That is the first index. But if we do not break it here, it will keep on changing the value. Okay, it will unnecessarily go till the last. So once we find it, we should break. And at the end, we will have this condition if found. That means if care found name is care found. If it's true, print yes. Else print. So I will see first approach yes. Here I will print first approach no. Because we have to verify whether uh, both the approaches are working similar or not. So let's run and see. As per our understanding, this should print yes. See it is saying first approach is saying yes. Now I'll tell you the shortcut to do it. For that, we will be using an inbuilt method from a string class. So int index, what we will do is str.caret sorry index of and we can simply say care so this method will internally check if this character is present in this string it will return the 
index of it so if it is present for our case it will it will give us the output as 1 and if it is not present then it will say it will return us minus 1 so let's first print this index and see what we are getting as output see it is printing 1 but if i change the character say a which is our second test case this says if it is a and it's not present in string it should print no let's run it and see what we are getting first approach it is saying no and index we are getting as minus 1 here lies the logic what is our condition now if index not equal to minus 1 that means a string was found so we will copy this code change change this so we will rename this as second approach see both approaches are saying no now let's change our character to o our both approaches should now print as yes it is working so these are the two ways to find out whether a character is present in a string or not in first approach we are iterating over the string and in second approach we are just making use of an inbuilt method that is index of in next video we will see a question where it was asked that you should return the length distance between uh, same character means if a character is being repeated in a string you should return the distance between them